independence, I welcome each of you in attendance, as well as those of you who may or may not be watching on City 7, to the November 20th meeting of the Independence Planning Commission. Before we start, let's stand and say the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. For those of you who are unfamiliar with our meetings, it is responsibility of this commission to hold public hearings and make recommendations to the Independence City Council on matters relating to zoning and land use changes within our city. We also consider and make decisions on plats, special use permits and other issues as well as changes in codes and policies that relate to city planning. Our procedure for each case tonight is as follows. First, the applicant will be recognized to speak on behalf of their case, followed by anyone else in attendance that wishes to speak in favor of the matter. Second, those who are in opposition to the matter or who have questions regarding the case will then be recognized to speak. If there was opposition or questions from the public, the applicant will be allowed a rebuttal period to address those concerns or questions. And once the applicant is finished, the chair will declare the public hearing portion of this case closed and further comment from the public will not be recognized. At this point, the commissioners will have the opportunity to discuss the merits of the case with one another. And during this discussion, the commission reserves the right to ask questions of all parties concerned. And then finally, the commission will render a decision on the case. Because this is the only public hearing of the cases on the agenda tonight, all those who wish to speak will be heard. All comments and questions should be addressed to the chair, me, not directly to the applicant or city staff. The chair also requests that statements be kept brief and on point, and that if statement has already been made by a previous speaker, please do not repeat it, but simply indicate your agreement on the matter. Now to expedite tonight's meeting, the chair asks that everyone who wishes to testify or who believes that they may testify, please stand now to be sworn in. Okay. Those who are standing, please raise your right hand. Do you solemnly swear to tell the whole truth before this commission? If so, please answer, I do. Thank you, you may be seated. Okay, the first agenda on our, the first item on our agenda tonight is the consent agenda for case number 186. Thank you. 183206, final plat for Vries Vale PUD. 15th plat, was that close enough, Stuart? Voris, okay, sorry. <laughs> Voris Vale. Um, do you have a motion? Or question. Yes, sir. Yes. Oh, he fixed it. He did. Mm -hmm. okay. The number. Okay. Okay, any other questions or comments or motions? I move that we approve case number 18-320-06, final plat for Voorhees Vale PUD 15th plat. Okay, do I have a second? Second. Okay, it's been seconded. We're ready for the vote. Commissioner Ferguson? Yes. Commissioner Goldsberry? Yes. Commissioner Preston? Yes. Commissioner McLean? Yes. Chairman Ashbaugh? Yes. Case number 18-320-06, final plat for Voorhees Vale PUT, 15th plat, and I can only wish that I never have to say that again, has been approved. The next item on our case is uh, the continuance of uh, case number 18-810-02, PUD preliminary development plat for 3232 South Nolan Road. 
Uh, the applicant has submitted a traffic study a couple of weeks ago that uh, staff is still reviewing and needs to meet with them before uh, this goes forward. We expect it to be uh, ready for full discussion on December 11th. Very well. Do I have a motion to continue the case? So moved. Billy moves. Do I have a second? Second. Virginia seconds. <clears throat> Commissioner Ferguson? Yes. Commissioner Goldsberry? Yes. Commissioner Preston? Yes. Commissioner McLean? Yes. Chairman Ashbaugh? Yes. Case number 18-810-02 PUD preliminary development plat for 3232 South Hill Road has been continued. Our next case is case number 18-100-17 rezoning of 18110 and 18200 East Bunshu Road. The staff have a report for us. Uh, yes, I do. Thank you. Uh, the City of Independence requests to rezone the properties at 18110 and 18200 East Bunshu Road from C1 Neighborhood Commercial to R6 Single Family Residential. So if you look at the first slide here, um, you can see the vicinity map um, right north of the T intersection there at Yuma and uh, East Bunshu Road. Um, are the two residential properties um, in question that are currently zoned C1. And we'll look at the zoning real quick. You can see um, uh, they have long been zoned C1, but uh, have two long existing uh, residents located on them. Uh, both of the properties have been zoned C1 since prior to 1965. Um, both properties can contain owner-occupied, legal, non-conforming, single-family residences. Uh, rezoning the properties to R6 would allow the owners to make improvements to their homes and to market their properties for single-family uses and financing when they sell. In fact, the city recently became aware of this issue when uh, Mr. Lawrence Hill contacted the city because his prospective buyer was having trouble obtaining financing given the legal nonconforming status of 18200 East Bunchy Road. Because its zoning is similar to 18110 East Bunchy Road, staff felt that the city should rezone both properties to R6, and both owners have agreed and the, this case includes both properties. So um, this is standing in front of, um, I believe, the second driveway. I can't remember if this is the most easternmost or the westernmost driveway. Looking east down uh, Bunchy Road. Um, this is looking directly across at the um, at the east home and moved a little bit off a little bit more so we could see the east and the west home both lots a little better there uh, this is looking down yuma turned around looking directly south in the opposite of directions from the properties uh, this is looking back up the hill up uh, Bunshu to the west toward uh, 24 Highway. Uh, this is, um, in its most recent use is as a church, a uh, commercial property that lo is located to the uh, west, immediately west of um, one of the properties. Uh, staff recommends approval of this case and um, I'm ready to take any questions you may have. Are there any questions of staff? Okay. I'd like to open the up for public hearing. Is there anyone else who would like to speak in favor of this case? Yes, sir. Please state your name and address for the record. Um, I would. I'm <laughs> Lawrence Hill. I live at 18200 Bunchu. And we moved, my wife and I moved into this location back in 1985 
We knew at the time that it was zoned commercial, but I ran a small business out of the home, so we really didn't have a problem with it. However, <clears throat> excuse me. However, we recently decided to relocate on the other side of Independence and put the property up for sale in which the prospective buyer's mortgage company would not loan them the money until it was rezoned to, to residential. So that was the stopping point in the sale. So I appreciate the Planning <laughs> Commission's uh, opportunity to change this back to residential. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Is there anyone else who would like to speak in favor of this case? Okay, is there anyone else here who is opposed or who has questions? Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and close the public hearing portion of this case and see if the commissioners have any comments or motions. Chair? Yes, sir. In a matter of case number 18-100-17 in the rezoning of 18110 and 18200 East Bunshu Road, from C1 neighborhood commercial to R6 single family residential, I move that that be approved. Okay. Do I have a second? Yes. Uh, second. All right. Billy moved and Virginia seconded. And if there's no discussion, then we're ready for the vote. Commissioner Ferguson. Yes. Commissioner Goldsberry. Yes. Commissioner Preston. Yes. Commissioner McLean. Yes. Chairman Ashbaugh. Yes. Case number 18-100-17, rezoning of 18 one one zero and one eight two zero zero East Bunchy Road has been approved. Good luck to you, sir. Our next case is case number one eight dash two zero zero dash zero nine special use permit at one zero four one eight East Truman Road. Staff have a report for us. In the beginning here. Uh, Veroncia uh, Villa Lobos uh, request approval of a special use permit to uh, operate a tattoo shop at 10418 East Truman Road. So the vicinity map here is the first slide. As you can see, it's uh, a small existing building that, that's located near the intersection, northeast intersection of uh, Hardy Avenue and uh, Truman Road. It's in a, a commercially zoned corridor with, <coughs> with nearby um, surrounding industrial uses. If you look at the um, overhead map, you can s or the aerial here, you can see the industrial properties to the north and um, or at least industrial zone properties, mostly auto repair businesses. Um, you have industrial to the east as well, as well um, residential and commercial to the south, and then um, more of the commercial corridor heading west along Truman Road into the Maywood um, community. Uh, the applicant requests of approval um, of this roughly half acre property, uh, which features a small two story office building, uh, approximately uh, 1300 square feet in area um, with a accompanying parking lot. Uh, the applicant uh, will have three employees, including himself, and ha have three chairs. Uh, the applicant uh, indicates he does not intend to do any body piercing at this time and would not be tattooing anyone under the age of 18. Uh, operation would be uh, from noon till 5 o'clock, uh, Tuesdays through Saturdays. Uh, planned improvements 
to the property uh, will include restriping and resealing of the parking lot and providing a properly signed and marked handicapped parking space. Further improvements will include repainting the building's exterior, uh, minor remodeling to the building's interior, and general maintenance to the premises. Real quickly, uh, to um, the photographs here of the neighborhood. Um, this is standing right in front of the, of the property, looking down the sidewalk to the east, down Truman Road, uh, toward the railroad uh, bridge um, that's um, right near Northern traffic light. Um, this is the um, next door neighbor the property uh, immediately to the east. This is the property itself. We're standing on the east side, uh, looking northwest, back toward Maywood. And this is a better view from right in front of the property, looking directly at the Maywood Business District to the west. Um, this is another view of the property, uh, showing more of the parking lot and the industrial uses that um, lie uh, to the north uh, behind the property. This is a, a northeasterly view. Uh, staff recommends approval of this application with the following conditions. Uh, the existing paved surface must be resealed and properly striped. Um, provide landscaping as indicated on the site slash landscaping plan. The ADA parking space shall be updated to reflect the current city national standards for markings, ramps, and signage. Only one ADA um, parking space would be required for this use. All improvements uh, shall be provided or shall be completed prior to a city license being approved for the business. And all necessary permits shall be obtained to establish uh, the new occupancy. Um, again, staff recommends approval, and I'll uh, take any questions you may have. <clears throat> Thank you, Brian. Does anyone have questions for Brian? No. Question. How many tattoo shops do we have in the city? Um, currently, we have five. Do we have any standards as to the maximum number of tattoos? Seven. Seven. Okay. So this would be number six. six. Thank you. Okay. okay, is there anyone here uh, in the public who would like to speak in favor of this case? Please give us your name and address for the record. Henry Reels, 3234 East 7th Street, Kansas City, Missouri. Thank you, sir. Um, just tell could us you, a little bit about what your... Could you get a little closer to the microphone? Just tell us a little bit about your hopes and dreams for this place. Well, <laughs> trying to get it up and running. Like you said, I'm going to have like three artists working there, including me. And I'm going to open it only like noon to five. And I'm hoping to open it up. Okay. And you uh, understand all the... Uh, sit, what the city's recommending you do, and you're you're good with that. Yes. Okay. All right. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. Is there anyone else here who would like to speak in favor of this case? Is there anyone here who is opposed or who might have questions? Okay. Public hearing portion is closed. Any questions or indoor motions? We have to sit here all night till I get a motion. <laughs> Mr. Chair. Yes. I move that we approve case number 18-200-09 special use permit for 10418 East Truman Road with the recommendations from the city. Thank you. Do I have a second? Second. John seconds. And I believe we're ready for the vote. 
Commissioner Ferguson? Yes. Commissioner Goldsberry? Yes. Commissioner Preston? Yes. Commissioner McLean? Yes. Chairman Ashbaugh? Yes. Case number 18-200-09, special use permit for 10418 East Truman Road has been approved with recommendations. Good luck to you, sir. And our next item is approval of minutes. And I do have a change, believe it or not. Ooh. Somebody's actually read the minutes. We had a vote. And on the last page, motion for case number 18-17505, UDO amendment Bs, the amendment that just keeps coming back, it says the motion was passed with six affirmative votes. It was passed with five affirmative votes and one no. That's my big change. <laughs> Pardon? Case number one. 18-175-05 UDO Amendment Bs. Are there any other changes that anybody noticed or? Okay. I'll hey, I do read them. The, um, uh, the minutes will stand approved as amended. Okay, does staff have any Items to share with us? Uh, just to say our next meeting is December 11th. Okay. We have several items on that agenda. All right, can't wait. Any, uh, <laughs> any commissioner have a comment for or questions for staff? Happy Thanksgiving. Yes. Happy Thanksgiving to everybody. So. If there are no objections, this meeting will stand adjourned at 6.21 p.m. <laughs> <laughs>